Okay, so what we're going to talk about today are statistical studies. All right, so uh, this is the start of statistics. So there are uh, a couple of different types of statistical studies. So there are three main types of statistical studies. There's the observational studies, surveys, and experiments. An observational study records the values of variables for members of a sample, but does not this is the key, does not attempt to influence the response. An example of an observational study would be a survey. A survey is to ask many people a question or a series of questions in order to gather information about what most people do or think about something. All right, so let's talk about the other another type of uh, study. That's an experiment. An experiment imposes treatments to ask, uh, sorry, to see the effect of the treatments on some response. The object of an experiment is to answer such questions as, what is the effect of treatments on a response variable? This is a cause and effect. So if I do this, this will happen. Or if I give somebody this, will this happen? Uh, an important part of an experiment is uh, the random selection. Is okay, so let's take a look at the examples down here. All right, so it says to determine if the situation is observational study or an experiment, and then it says to explain. So you just can't put observational or experiment and then just leave it. You have to put a reason why. All right, so let's take a look at number one. It says researchers investigate the link between the use of cell phones and brain cancer. There are two variables in this study. One is the extent of cell phone usage, and the second is whether a person has brain cancer. Both variables are measured for a group of people. So was anything imposed on this group? No, they, we weren't, they didn't tell the group, oh, you have to use the cell phone for, you know, uh, five hours a day. So this would be an observational study. Okay, now we want an explanation. There is no, no treatment. Was imposed. So like we didn't say, uh, you know, every day you have to do this. And there is no attempt to influence cell phone usage. Okay, so that would be um, an observational study. So let's take a look at the bottom one, see what that is. So this says, a study determines whether taking aspirin regularly, so now you're going to give somebody something. You're taking aspirin regularly helps prevent heart attacks. A large group of male physicians of comparable health were randomly assigned equally to taking an aspirin every second day or taking a placebo. So uh, I don't know if you know what a placebo is. A placebo would be a pill that has usually just like a sugar pill. It really doesn't do, it doesn't do anything. Okay, but you, you don't know who's getting what. After several years, the proportion of the study participants who suffered heart attacks in each group was compared. So this would be an experiment. study. This is a cause and effect. If I do this, will this happen? All right, so let's write down an explanation. So the treatment would be aspirin and non-aspirin.
which would be your placebo. Okay, your response, variable, would be suffered heart attack. Okay, so what you are going to have to be able to do with experiments is if I give you this first line, a study to determine whether taking aspirin regularly helps prevent heart attacks. You're going to have to be, if you're given that first line, what would you do to perform the experiment? So that would be, you would take two, you would need two different groups. One would be to take an aspirin and one would be to take the placebo and then compare them. All right, so that's it and I'll see you tomorrow in class. Have a good night.